when Bruce chose Anthony, I was like, aw, another cat who has chosen my husband. When my husband is sleeping, Bruce will either be on his chest or on his shoulder. And he's just sitting there purring away. My husband will sit down and watch some sports or something. And Bruce jumps up on the couch and he nestles in. Anthony will come and talk to him and say, hey, Bruce, how's it going? And he meows back. Bruce just connected with him in a way I've never seen a cat connect to someone. But when we first met Bruce, I was worried, would he come out of his shell? Bruce was a senior rescue from the SPCA. And when I showed my husband his picture, he said, that's him. That's the one. So we met with Bruce and he was so scared. We tried petting him, but he just didn't want to engage. And Bruce would sometimes hide. I was a little apprehensive because I was worried about how shy this cat was, but my husband just sat next to him and he was like, don't worry, buddy, I'm going to take care of you. The first few days, Anthony really tried to engage with Bruce. So he would slowly pet him and show him kindness and bring food to him. And he was really starting to come out of his shell. My husband and I, we like to watch TV at the end of the night. And Bruce will come and lie down. We have many beds set up around the house for him to enjoy and sleep wherever he wants. But he grew quite attached to my husband. I was definitely a little bit jealous. You know, I love it. I love it. <laughs> the SPCA had told us that it would take a couple of months for him to socialize. And thanks to Anthony, it only took a couple of days. I feel like Bruce is so happy now. It's just been so wonderful to have him. Bruce has definitely changed our lives for the better. As Anthony says, he doesn't have a lot of years left, but we're gonna make the remaining years really great for him.